Hello everyone, my name is Chris and we're here at Vinto.com and we're going to do our October Pinot Noir tasting. We're going to do five fantastic wines and I hope you really enjoy them. I'm going to do a tasting with you so you kind of have an idea what they're all about. Um, I really think that just written tasting notes don't do justice to these wines, so we're going to taste along with each other, okay? So the first wine is from the Oregon producer Quercus, uh, Michael Beckley. He is a winemaker slash musician slash organ lover and uh, he loves Pinot Noir and he buys fruit from different fantastic vineyards up in the Willamette Valley or Oregon area and makes his own wine with a small team. Really small production Pinot Noir and 1999 it really over delivers. Uh, Quercus, the name of the winery, is actually named after the cork tree, the oak cork tree that's used for making wine all over the world and great respect given to this plant. Alright, so the first wine here going to pour into our Riedel O series glasses. Beautiful color. Look at that. This is how God intended Pinot Noir to be. Not so dark you can't see your fingers through it. There's an elegance to it. Um, the color is this beautiful kind of garnet red, soft kind of orange pink hues. Just really a fantastic color. Really feminine. On the nose. The one has a beautiful, um, almost a red cherry fruit flavor, uh, red dried raspberries, and almost like a floral, almost like a dried rose petal. There are hints of cinnamon and Christmas spices, like cinnamon and clove, just really expressive nose. It smells almost juicy, beautiful. The wine in the palate really confirms what we smelled. Red raspberry, Beautiful, like ripe as well as some like dried flavors, almost like pie filling, like cherry pie filling, and those like bubbly kind of corners of the pie where some of the filling kind of snuck out. Really fantastic. The spiciness in the background is beautiful, and there's a nice acidity. It's my, make my mouth water. Now, acid with food is fantastic because if your mouth didn't water just a little bit with wine, um, your your taste buds wouldn't be cleaned every between bites. So a wine with a little bit of acidity is fantastic with food. But this is delicious, and I could definitely drink it by itself. So I'm gonna go back. Really nice Pinot. Now I'm not gonna drink every little sip today because we're doing a tasting, not a drinking. And if you are going through a lot of different wines, we definitely suggest that you spit. So if you're visiting wine country, Napa, Sonoma, Oregon, wherever. I've seen so many uh, consumers slash uh, visitors wasted by 10.30 in the morning and it's because they're not spitting the wine. So if you're going through a wine tasting, a serious wine tasting, and if you gotta get through the whole day, don't drink it, taste it, and release. Some of my friends call it catch and release. So catch and release your wine. So Quercus Harmonia Pinot Noir 2007, uh, 1999. Those beautiful kind of dried red berry tones, a uh, little spicy, a uh, little floral, it's just a fantastic value. Now the next wine, is from Soder, Tony Soder. Now you probably have heard the name before. He was the founder of a Tood winery in Napa Valley. Um, he was also consulting winemaker for a huge barrage and array of uh, cult Napa producers, a really, really respected, respected winemaker. He's up in um, the Willamette Valley right now with his own property called Mineral Springs. And that's what we think is kind of like the promised land. He's retiring there, he put all his money there. The focus of his career is back to Oregon and he's making some fantastic Pinot Noirs. Now this is the North Valley 2007, made by Tony Soder and James Cahill. Beautiful color as well. Again, kind of like a, a medium to light garnet with hints of pink and orange on the rim. Just a beautiful, beautiful color. On the nose. Wow. Wow, this wine's beautiful. More intense than the Harmonia, um, kind of red raspberry, red currant flavors. A little bit riper and a little, little softer. There's more floral tones. Not as quite as quite um, Not quite as spicy as the other. God, this smells like candy. On the, on the palate? Beautiful red fruit flavors. Again, the raspberry, the cherry. A little bit of even watermelon flavors. Just a fantastic array of different nuances. This is definitely a quaffer. You can drink this by the pool. 
Think of, actually, turkey dinner for the holidays would be fantastic with that. Pinot Noir, don't, don't forget, Pinot Noir is probably the most versatile red grape variety out there. So if you're looking for a light body, medium body red wine that's gonna go with a variety of different dishes, think of Pinot Noir. This has got those beautiful, creamy, ripe red fruit flavors, and you're really gonna love this wine. This is definitely a drinker. $27.99 from a very respected producer. This is their North Valley Pinot Noir 2007 vintage. You're gonna love this wine.